What happens when Toyota gives a half-ton truck to an independent Texas cattle rancher? And he uses it like a three-quarter ton truck for 100,000 grueling miles. Find out as Toyota engineers get the truck back and dissect the guts to see how it held up. This is Tundra Deconstructed. The phone rang about four o'clock in the afternoon and I heard this voice. I knew it was not a West Texas voice, but I thought, well, my mother told me to be polite and so I'll listen to what the man has to say. He wanted to know if I'd be interested in testing for Toyota trucks. And I said, well, after a pause, I said, certainly. <laughs> I mean, if I get a truck to test, that sounds okay to me. I had my doubts. I didn't think it was big enough, and I just didn't figure it would hold together. But it did. Found it right quick, it would pull much better than another half ton. Mostly you would pull uh, cows, cattle, calves, whatever. You do haul horses once in a while. You can take a half ton tundra and put a 24 foot gooseneck hooked up with cattle in it and pull it like a three quarter ton Chevrolet or Ford. The 24 foot gooseneck is a big gooseneck. Well, I don't know what the total weight of the trailer is, but those grown cows, if they weigh 1,200, we have 12 in there, do the math. I mean, that's, that's pretty close to, I don't know what, it's lots of weight. Our towing capacity is 10,800 pounds. Although I can't really uh, say we approve of, of the use, I, uh, I'm sure that he probably exceeded those capacities at some point in time. Yeah, yeah, I overloaded it. But it was a test truck, right? Even though they were towing heavy loads, we really didn't find any major issues with the truck after 100,000 miles. The transmission, the ring gear, the frame and suspension, everything held up really good. So this is one of the uh, front tracks and coil spring assemblies for the truck. Basically everything looks to have held up uh, very well. So no, no big signs of any leaking from the shock or anything like that. With the cabin bed removed, we'll inspect the frame for any cracks. We'll check to see if any mud collected inside the C-channel, then take some photos for the designers to get a closer look. At first glance, the frame looks good. With the Tundra, the, the goal is to use the frame as, as a little bit of a flexing mechanism. Rigid doesn't necessarily mean strong. You know, strength is one thing, rigidity is another. I was really expecting to break a spring, yes, a rear spring, I was, the leaf springs. I was expecting them to break, but they didn't, so I guess they're tougher than I thought they were. The cake cube feed trailer or the liquid feed trailers were probably harder on the truck than these big trailers because it is a, a movable load on there. It, it, it's, it's sloshing and then it's a little short trailer and it will test your receiver hitch. Did you ever teach your dad about driving a half ton rather than a three quarter ton? No, because I couldn't get him to shut up about it. I mean, comparing to these other pickups, he was really impressed with it. You know, the thing, like, we keep harping on the same deal, but the 100,000 miles and the suspension and the stern is just unbelievable to me because there's no other pickup we've ever had any time, any place, anywhere that you did not have a stirring problem or suspension problem within 100,000 miles used in the environment that we use these trucks in.